God in heaven looks down on mankind. God sits on the throne and watches the earth. He sees all of the earth. He sees you and me on the earth and every person on the earth. And as God watches, He's pleased. He sees mankind. And God loves all of mankind. He loves everyone, the entire human race. He loves all different races, all different people. God loves everyone in the earth. And God notices that man has sin. Man's heart is sinful. Every person, you and me, every person here on the earth has a sinful heart. But God cannot look upon sin. God cannot tolerate sin. And God is sad at our sin. You and I have sin. We have done wrong. You and I have a wicked heart, a bad heart. We have stolen. We have sin. We have committed sin. We have anger. We get angry at people. We rebel. You and I have committed sin. We fight and are angry toward others. We have sin. You and I have sinned. In school, we look upon others' test scores. We look upon the answers and we cheat. You and I have sinned. Can sin go to heaven? No, it cannot. God cannot tolerate sin. He cannot stand sin. And God says sin must be punished in hell, in the flames of hell. It's an awful place, a terrible place of pain and suffering, of agony, of great suffering. Hell is a bad, bad place. It's a place for sin. Does God accept sin? Can sin go to heaven? No, it cannot. God cannot accept our sin. Our sin must be punished in hell. Your sin and my sin must go to hell. Now, do you want to go to hell? You see, the opposite of hell is heaven. It's a good place. It's the opposite of hell. And you have a decision to make whether you want to go to hell or whether you want to go to heaven. Now, I have sin, and God cannot accept my sin. My sin will go to hell. And God cannot accept my sin, so what happens? You see here the cross. This is Jesus. Jesus. He has a clean heart. Righteousness. Is Jesus good or bad? Jesus is good not bad. Jesus loves you and me and all of the people on the earth. Jesus has a clean and pure heart. Jesus is righteous. He is from God. Jesus is the Son of God. God came down to the earth as Jesus, 
Jesus suffered on the cross and was crucified. Nails were placed into his hands, into his feet, a crown of thorns on his head. Jesus bled on the cross. Jesus on the cross died for you. Jesus on the cross died. Then he was buried. And then three days later, he arose from the grave. Jesus is alive today. And Jesus loves you and me. You and I have a sinful heart. But Jesus loves us. Our sin must be punished in hell, but Jesus does not want that. So what are you going to do about your heart? You can pray to Jesus. You can say, Dear God, I know that I have sin. I know that I must be punished in hell, but I don't want that. You can ask Jesus, Jesus, you died for me. And now I ask you, To come into my heart and save me just by prayer Jesus can come into your heart and give you a righteous and good and clean heart now what about you are you going to go to hell or to heaven if you receive Jesus Christ as your Savior you can go to heaven and be happy and joyous in heaven but if you keep your sinful heart and you say, I don't care about Jesus, I don't care about God, God will say, well, you don't care about me, you must be punished in hell. A place of agony, of screaming, and of pain. Do you want to go to hell? No. Do you want to have Jesus' righteousness in your heart and life so you can go to heaven? Yes. Now, you have to make a decision. It's not my decision to make for you. You must decide where you will spend eternity. Will you receive Jesus Christ? You can pray to Him and say, I have a sinful heart. I don't want my sin. I don't want to go to hell. You can pray to Jesus and say, Jesus, come into my heart and save me and I will go to heaven so pray to Christ pray to Jesus receive him as your Savior he will give you a new heart you'll have him inside of you and you can go to heaven and you won't go to hell so do you want to do this think about it pray Decide that you don't want to be punished in hell. Decide that you want to go to heaven. Do you want to pray and receive Christ? I'll help you pray in sign language. Don't pray to me. Don't pray to your church. But you need to ask Jesus, who died on the cross for you, pray to him and say, Jesus, wash away my sin. Would you like to pray? Would you like to follow me in a prayer right now? Let's pray. Pray with me. Dear God, I know that I'll be punished in hell. I know that I have a sinful heart. I admit that I'm a sinner. But God, I don't want to go to hell. I want you to come in to my heart and cleanse me. I want the righteousness of God inside of my heart through Jesus Christ. I want to go to heaven. When I die, I understand receiving Jesus Christ, I will go to heaven and not hell. Thank you for loving me. I now receive Jesus Christ 
as my Savior, and that is all. Now, did you pray? Did you receive Jesus Christ? You will go to heaven. God, when you pray to God and you receive Jesus Christ as your Savior, Jesus Christ and God are one. You have Christ in your heart. You will not go to hell, but with God, with Jesus in your heart, you will be going to heaven in the future. Oh, how exciting, how thrilling it is. You can go to heaven and not spend eternity in hell. Now, once you have received Jesus Christ into your heart as your Savior, you can have great happiness and joy. But you have Jesus Christ. Now, who do you fellowship with? Who are your friends? Can you have sin in your heart along with Jesus? No. You see a friend, but your friend has a dirty heart. And you say, I cannot fellowship with you. But you can find friends who do have Jesus. And you say, oh, you're the same as me. You have Jesus in your heart. Oh, good, I've got you as a friend. You're my friend. I love you. And you'll find another Someone else who has received Jesus Christ as their Savior, and they can be your friend. And then you'll have two friends, three of us all together. And then you'll see another who has received Jesus Christ as their Savior, and you'll say, oh, there are four of us, and there will be more and more and more. Now, what do you do? You will go and see a church, a place of prayer. And you'll say, let's all go to church. And so all will sit in church and read the Bible and hear the preaching of God's Word. You say, I have received Jesus Christ, and I read the Bible, and you will grow and grow and grow into maturity. You have Jesus Christ, you will go to heaven. You can love God. You say, God, I love you. Sinful things of the world, I don't care about those things. I don't want them. Smoking, drinking and becoming drunk, dancing and parties, no, I don't want those things. All of those things are sinful. But with your good friends who have received Jesus Christ as their Savior, go to church and read the Bible and God will be pleased. Don't follow sinful ways, the sins of the world. Don't follow those things. Follow Jesus Christ and you'll be happy. And you will have friends who have received Christ. Now, you have received Christ, you have friends that have Christ. But as you go through life, you will see some people who have a sinful heart. You would say, you're my friend, but I love you. You're my friend, but you have a sinful heart. You're going to go to hell, but I love you. You're my friend. Don't you want to go to heaven? Don't go to hell. I have Jesus Christ in my heart. But you don't. You're sinful and you're going to go to hell. I don't want you to go to hell. God does not want you to go to hell. I want you to receive Christ like I have. Your friend might say, yes, I want to receive Christ. Say, do you want your sinful heart? Do you want to go to hell? He may say, no, I don't want to go to hell. No. You can witness and say, do you want a clean heart? Then you can pray with me. Pray to Jesus on the cross. 
You can pray to him. And he may say, yes, I want to pray. I don't want to go to hell. I want to go to heaven. Then you can lead him in a prayer and help him pray to Jesus. Tell God, Jesus, I want you to come into my heart. I want to receive Jesus Christ in my heart. Show him that he does not want a sinful heart, but can have the righteousness of God, and then your friend can be saved by receiving Christ as his Savior. And you can have a friend that will go to heaven. And he will now understand that he will go to heaven. How wonderful.